Hey y'all, welcome to the last episode of 2019 for Trail Talk. Come and talk to me. I really want to meet you. Can I talk to you? I really want to know you. Talkers. Hi, uh, welcome to another episode. Thank you guys for all of your views over 2019, the past couple months since I started this video blog, video cast, whatever you want to call it, talk session, home session. I absolutely love doing these things. I just try to find a time when I can and sometimes time don't permit. However, I always make time and I keep my word. I may not do it on the day that I promote it sometimes because stuff come up. However, comma, I'm going to always do Drea Talk. This is a passion of mine. It's something that I love. And I hope you guys continue to share it. I hope you guys continue to view. And let's get this episode started, sweeties. 19 things. We definitely going to leave in 2019. Y'all with me on this? <laughs> Round of applause. Yes, you're with me. Okay, cool. That's all I need, girls. That's all I need, man. Anyway, we're going to start with the number one thing, and that is is hating can we lead that in 2019 hey i don't even think we need an explanation for that leave hating in 2019 mm -hmm. next number two inconsistency we need to be more consistent with our behaviors with our plans with our focus with our drives with our relationships whatever you do to get that man and woman Stay consistent with it, baby, because everything takes work. And with consistency, it's going to take work. So we definitely need more consistency. So no inconsistency. Number two, Lita in 2019. Yes, number two, inconsistency. Bye, inconsistency. Lying. Bye, lying. That's number three. Yep, bye, lying. Y'all already know that's self-explanatory what lying is. Quit lying. You grown. You're not going to get a whooping from your mama. Some people may not like the truth, but guess what? You got to give it to them because lying only causes worse problems for you. And who got time for problems in 2020 and they're on? Nobody. So bye-bye inconsistency. Bye-bye lying. Bye-bye hating. See ya. Four, laziness. We got to stop being lazy, y'all. Like, I'm even speaking for myself. I'm a very driven person, but there are times that I'll be like, oh, man, I don't want to. There's times when it comes to with my workout plan oh god i don't want to i don't want to go work out and it's right downstairs in my building you know what i'm saying like we gotta start being more consistent quit making excuses of why you can't go work out oh you tired because you did 12 hours yesterday make some time so let's quit being lazy y'all let's get it okay laziness ain't gonna get you nowhere but with incomplete ass goals <sighs> anyway Let's next number five. Number five is backbiting. Y'all know when y'all be with certain people and other people ain't around and y'all want to sit up there and just bring up their whole life and talk shit about them or whatever. I mean, I've been guilty. However, I work very hard at not doing anything like that because that's not going to help you be successful. That's what is that helping you? As a matter of fact, you're like a fan of that person's because you're thinking about them and they're not even thinking about you. So let's quit backbiting that 2019 stop backbiting that's number five mm -hmm. bye bye backbiting number six down low can we stop being down low brothers and sisters if that's what you are i mean just stop it it's unhealthy for other people that don't know your sexuality or where you're coming from like you just got to be honest that's that goes with lying just stop lying about that it's 2019 gonna be 2020 Lead that in 2019. Come out the closet already. It's it's very open in this world now, sweetie. We all accepting it. Ain't nobody gonna look at you no different. And if they do, fuck them. Anyway, number seven, tearing people down. Can we stop tearing people down? Like, can you just uplift your brother or your sister or your neighbor? Like, what is that gonna hurt you to uplift somebody? How is it helping you to tear them down? It ain't doing them but spreading negativity. And God knows we got enough negativity in this world, which is how I was able to write 19 things that we need to leave that's negative in 2019. Okay, so leave that turn people down stuff like it ain't gonna help you, baby girl, baby boy. It ain't gonna help you. So just go ahead and worry about what you need to do. 
and go ahead and worry about helping people, uplifting them, giving them some advice on how they can do better or be better people, okay? If you have that. If not, you just become a better person and quit turning people down. Number eight, envy and jealousy. That's self-explanatory. That goes with hating too. Leave that in 2019. Goodbye. Because it's killing people out here. People are dying. People are losing their lives because they're successful and the next person hating, jealous, envious, mad, and killing them. Very demonic. That's a demonic spirit. Leave that leave that type of spirituality that negative demonic spirituality bye-bye bye-bye embassy envy jealousy lying hating all of that inconsistency goodbye goodbye number nine we're gonna be more supportive right Yay! we're gonna cheer for our friends right Yay! we're gonna go to our friends events right Yay! we're gonna buy from our friends businesses right Yay! we're gonna share their posts and support their business because we're supportive 2020 2021 and they're on we're supportive right because we don't have no reason not to be supportive because we're not jealous we're not envious we're not hateful because we want to celebrate them so we're definitely going to be supportive and show them love and show them some type of support okay procrastination that's number 10 we're definitely not procrastinating in 2020 and they're on. Procrastination gets you nowhere. You can't go further in life procrastinating. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll oh, shoot. I'll do it next week. Oh, I ain't going to do it because I didn't finish it. That's procrastination. It's dumb. Quit procrastinating. Just whenever you got the time, set aside the goal, set aside the time, and get it done. Get it done because that moment that you're thinking about giving up, or procrastinating that might have been just your moment that you missed out on because you procrastinated and that goes under being lazy for real so bye bye procrastination see ya have fun in 2019 i'm moving to 2020 right yep we're gonna not procrastinate we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get up and we're gonna do it <laughs> number 11 having no compassion for people like I literally watch people not open doors for elders and stuff when we're walking in a store or they're walking out of a store. I literally watch people. I literally put up a post. What was that? The other day, probably last week. Like, you guys have any blankets that you're not using or that you can spare? DM me so that I can give it to the homeless people that I see sleeping on the bus stops and stuff like that with newspapers and everything that they can find to cover themselves up because it's freaking cold outside. I mean, I know y'all be cold and y'all have on coats, scarves, hats, and everything. Imagine sleeping on the streets, okay? And people couldn't even do that. I didn't say give me no money. I didn't say give them no money. We got to start having more compa compassion for our neighbor, our brother, our sister, the human race, period. Have more compassion. Y'all care about y'all animals more than y'all do the human race stop all that for real no compassion we leave it bye bye no compassion hello compassion hello compassion hello donating hello donating your time come on now anyway rudeness can we just stop being rude i mean i've had my times where i think i was rude but we leaving it in 2019 too because we need to have more smiles and care more about spreading positivity and being more friendlier, okay, towards people. Because you never know what the next person is going through. And a lot of times that one time that you're just showing some type of love and some type of kindness, it goes a long way for somebody or their day. And it's, it can only bless you ultimately. You know what I'm saying? You can only get blessed from it. You know, being rude, you're never, you're not going to do anything but spew out more negativity and it's not going to help you like stay looking young. As, as a matter of fact, you're just going to turn into an old hag and you're going to have wrinkles and you're only going to be like 27 years old and ain't nobody got time for that because who trying to get wrinkles? I mean, drinking water help, but it only could do so much because your attitude needs to match too. Okay. So rudeness, number 12, we leaving that in 2019. We're not going to be rude. We're going to be all smiles, 
Only time it's okay not to smile, and y'all see this in my pictures if you follow me, I don't smile because, you know, I have to have the resting bitch face because I don't want wrinkles. You know what I mean? I don't frown. I don't smile. I just have no expression at all. <laughs> figure it out. Okay. Figure it out. Whatever my, whatever I'm feeling, just throw it up in there, girl. Just throw it up in there, dude. I don't know. Anyway, poor diets. That's number 13. We're leaving that in 2019. Poor diets, poor health, poor hygiene. First off, if y'all not washing y'all funky asses and y'all not taking care of y'all, you know what, vaginas and vajayjays and penises and all that stuff and booties and all that uh-uh you grown what i shouldn't be at work having to smell you and i shouldn't have to tell you that you smell and you should want to have better hygiene anyway being around people even around yourself you don't want to smell yourself smelling funky i'm convinced some of y'all don't even know you you stink but anyway that's a whole nother story hygiene yep Smoking cigarettes, come on now, that's old school. Everybody know that causes cancer, and it, it helps nobody. It helps the, it doesn't help Earth. It's polluting. It's disgusting. Poor diets, come on now, y'all know what y'all should eat, what y'all shouldn't eat. A lot of stuff is genetically modified, and just start doing more research about what you're putting in your bodies. McDonald's, I don't even understand how y'all motherfuckers still eating it. It's known to be a fake, fake food at this point in order to produce as much as it produces and y'all still swallowing that shit down and blah, 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 eating mcdonald's i mean i ain't the one to judge i'm just saying do better for your health you know what i'm saying because this is a known fact i ain't spewing out false false negatives no this is a, a factual this is factual do your research sweetie i have this is factual yeah we need to have better diets we need to start taking care of ourselves so that we can live a long time so that we can put all of this positive things that we've left that all the negative things that we left in 2019 and all the positive things that we are manifesting in 2020 and they're on we need to live longer for our kids so that we can pass it on to them and, and teach them how to be better right so we need poor we need better diets we need better health and we definitely need better hygiene because don't nobody want to smell no funky ass person anyway now we need to since we're leaving the poor diets in 2019, health and all that stuff, and hygiene, for 14, we're going to quit thinking small. A lot of people imitate other people, and they always say imitation is the best flattery. Well, I never like that because I feel like everybody has their own path. Everybody has their own thing that they want to do with their life and that they feel like they're destined to do or that they're called to do. And it's like people that ride other people's coattails because they don't even know what they want to do with their life. And it, I get it. Like sometimes you can be an example and you can be a person that motivates other people, but find what your niche is because what's for you is for you and what's for me is for me. And don't never limit yourself to think that you can't do what you're supposed to do because you're not taking the time, you're procrastinating and, take, and not taking the time on trying to figure out what is it that I need to do to be better, you know what I'm saying? Or to figure out what it is that I'm supposed to do with my life. You know, we, we do that a lot. Sorry, y'all. We do that a lot. Um, so, 14, the imitation and, and small thinking we leaving in 2019 shooting people if y'all niggas don't know how to fight with your hands just don't put pick no gun up y'all be picking guns up don't go to shooting ranges or nothing don't know how to aim for your target and all this stuff it's just dumb shit you killing kids you killing women you killing innocent folks and you just dumb as fuck and nobody respects you so just stop it stop the freaking violence stop the shooting leave that shit in 2019 15 leave that in 2019 shooting okay Keeping up with the Joneses. Y'all want to wear weaves and all this stuff all the way down to your toes to keep up with Nene. And Nene can't even pay her rent. I'm just saying. And you probably can't pay yours either. Can we just stop that? Keeping up with the Joneses. Leave that 2019. That's number 16. Number 17. Can we stop begging people to love us? If somebody don't love you, oh well. Move on. Love yourself. That's number 17. We're going to leave that in, in 2019. We love ourselves. Fuck you if you don't love me. We leaving in 2019. Goodbye. <laughs> Number 18. We're going to stop judging people. Stop saying what the next person needs to do as far as what they need to spend their money on, what they need to look like, how they need to leave Ray Ray alone. They ain't none of your business. 2019. We leaving in 2019. 